Well hello everybody and welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. Today I'm going to make a plum crumble pie. So this is going to have a pie crust which is filled with uh, plums and then a crumble put on the top and it's going to be baked into the oven. Baked in the oven should I say. It does take some time because there are these distinct steps um, and because of the volume of ingredients I'm going to do the ingredients in three different parts. One for the uh, pastry, one for the crumble and one part for the plums, the filling. Um, but the whole thing when it comes together is very very good. I made it a couple of weeks ago as a test and it turned out very well. So um, that's what I'm going to do uh, today. And the first thing I'm going to do is to make my pastry. So, because we have to chill that for a couple of hours. So I'll go on to the ingredients just for the pastry. And these ingredients are uh, a little bit different as well because I have two lots of flour and two lots of butter. I have here 108 grams, which is two thirds of a cup plus one tablespoon uh, of plain flour. That's based on scooping packed flour into a 250 milliliter cup. And I have another 70 grams, a third of a cup, plus two tablespoons of plain flour as well. I have uh, 113 grams, eight tablespoons of cold butter, which I've cut into cubes. And another uh, 28 grams, two tablespoons of butter, which I have shredded. And I'm going to uh, keep that chilled. Um, I'll actually put it in the freezer for a couple of minutes and then put it back in the fridge and keep it chilled uh, until I need it. I have uh, 13 grams, one tablespoon of caster sugar, three grams, half a teaspoon of salt and 60 millilitres, um, a quarter of a cup of ice cold water. And that's all I need for the pastry. So we'll go on to start making that now and I'll put my uh, shredded butter into the freezer for a little while. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my 113 grams of flour into my processor bowl of my immersion blender and add the sugar in as well and the salt. And I'm just going to um, give that a little bit of a stir around. You could process it, but stirring it, it just to get them a little bit combined. And then I'm going to add my 113 grams of cubed butter. And I'm going to process this until it just begins to clump together. And that took 30 seconds or so, but as you can see that has clumped together and I'm actually going to tip that out And then I'm going to put it back in, but I'm going to break it into small pieces. And with it half broken like that, half of it done, I'm simply going to sprinkle over some of my remaining 70 grams of flour and continue breaking up the rest of the dough. Then the remaining flour can go in. Thank you. 
and I'm going to pulse it a few times just so that uh, that flower mixes with the, the dough we've created and it becomes like a rough texture. And that's good like that. So then I'm going to tip that back into my bowl again. And with it in the bowl, I'm going to drop in my grated butter and I'm going to toss that around to mix that in. And then I'm going to pour in about half of my cold water. And I'm going to stir that around. And get it mixed into a dough. And then I'm going to pour in the remaining water. And I'm going to use my spatula just to mix that. into a soft moist dough making sure all that water is incorporated and as you can see that becomes quite wet but still with little flecks of butter in And that's good like that. So then I'm going to put that onto some plastic wrap. And I'm going to cover it with the plastic. And then I'm going to shape it into a disc. Just like that and I'm going to put that into the fridge and I'm going to chill it for two hours and as that two hours comes to an end I will actually come back and detail the ingredients for the crumble and make the crumble and put that in the fridge as well so I'll be back with you when I'm ready to make the crumble so as my uh, pastry dough is chilling in the fridge I'm going to make my uh, crumble mixture so I'll go on to the ingredients for that. And for my crumble, I have 150 grams, three quarters of a cup of sugar, 70 grams, um, about half a cup of hazelnuts. And you could use chopped hazelnuts. You could use ground hazelnuts, but I'm using the whole one so that I can chop them in my processor and leave them just a little bit chunky. I have 50 grams, half a cup, of uh, shredded coconut. If you don't have shredded coconut, you can use desiccated coconut. Uh, 130 grams, two thirds of a cup, plus three tablespoons of plain flour, based on scooping packed flour into a 250 milliliter cup. 
84 grams, 6 tablespoons of cold butter, and 1.5 and grams, a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. And uh, I'm simply going to uh, mix these in my food processor bowl of my immersion blender, which I hadn't cleaned after making the pastry because it's all the same sort of thing. And I'm going to put my um, nuts in and my sugar. And I'm just going to uh, process those a little bit to break the nuts up into smaller pieces. And that's good like that because they're going to get broken smaller still um, as we go on. So then I'm going to add in my um, salt, my flour and my coconut. And I'm going to process that until I have a sort of mixture which is like uh, coarse crumbs. And I'll add my butter in. and process that again um, to break that butter down into the mixture. And I think that's actually reasonably good. I've got some finer pieces and some pieces which are clumping. So that's good like that. And I'm going to put that into a bowl. Just like that. And I'm going to put that into the fridge and I'm going to chill it um, so that uh, it sort of combines into a, a crumbly type mixture which I can sprinkle over the top of uh, my pie filling. So the next thing to do is to uh, roll out our pastry. So I'll come back when I'm ready to roll out the pastry. So I've taken my uh, pastry dough out of the fridge and I have put it onto a well floured surface and I floured the top because it's going to be quite wet. And I have here a nine inch, 23 centimeter uh, pie dish and that's what I'm going to use for the tart. So I need to roll this pastry out uh, into a, a circle who, which, whose diameter or of which the diameter is large enough to uh, fill that and overlap at the edge. So I'll roll it out. And so I think uh, that should be uh, large enough and I'm just going to carefully roll that up onto my rolling pin. I'm going to place that into the pie dish and then I'm going to gently press it down around the sides. like that.
and I'm going to tuck the excess in just to form a thicker rim basically. So I'm going to put that back into the fridge and I'm going to chill it for at least 30 minutes and during that time I'm going to preheat my oven to uh, 220 degrees Celsius, 200 Celsius with a fan, 425 Fahrenheit and I'm going to put a baking tray in the oven at the same time so that that heats up um, at the same time and then as that's preheating I'll come back and we'll make uh, the filling before we fill and assemble the pie. So my pastry is chilling, my oven is preheating so it's time to go on to make the um, filling or assemble the filling basically and that's quite straightforward so I'll go on to the ingredients for that and it's just four ingredients. I have here uh, already sliced uh, 900 grams, two pounds of plums. So I've sliced them into little um, quarter inch, quarter to half inch slices basically, taking this, uh, the pits out, the stones out. That uh, is 2.2, uh, sorry, that's two pounds of, of plums. I have 150 grams, three quarters of a cup of sugar, 32 grams, four tablespoons of corn flour, and 15 millilitres, um, which is one tablespoon of uh, lemon juice. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, first of all, mix my sugar and my corn flour together. And that's so that um, the corn flour spreads more evenly into the, the plums. I'll just mix that around into the sugar. That's good enough. And so then I'm going to put my plums into a bowl. And I'm going to uh, just pour over my lemon juice and I'll just give that a little toss around. I can see some pieces that have stuck together there so I'll break those up. And then I'm going to add in my sugar and corn flour and stir that around. And the idea is to get the slices of plums coated as much as possible. And I'm going to leave those to sit until my oven is preheated. And once the oven has come up to temperature, I'll come back, we will uh, put the filling into the pie crust and put the crumble on top and we'll bake it. My oven is now preheated, so I've taken my uh, pastry case out of the fridge and I'm simply going to pour my plums into it I'm going to spread them around
and I've domed them slightly in the middle. I'll just pour the rest of my thickening agent on the top. That will sink down to help thicken the juices as they get released from the plums. And then I need to put my crumble on the top and I'm going to just crumble it roughly over the top, making sure that I go all the way around the side as well. And with that uh, covered with my crumble mixture all the way around the sides and over the top, I'm going to put that into the oven and I'm going to bake it for 20 minutes at that first temperature, 220 Celsius, uh, 200 Celsius with a fan, 425 Fahrenheit. Then I'm going to reduce it to 190 Celsius, 170 Celsius with a fan, which is 375 Fahrenheit and I'm going to bake it for a further 30 minutes. Um, the top should brown nicely and it should cook all the way through. That intense heat at the beginning is going to help cook the underside of the pastry as well and it will be on that hot baking tray. But after the 20 minutes and then the 30 minutes I'm going to take it out of the oven and I'm going to leave it to cool down completely uh, before I do anything else with it and that's going to take three four even maybe even five hours it's quite warm here today so it depends on how long it takes but once it's almost cool I put it in the fridge to speed that process up and then once it's cooled completely which will allow the juices and the thickening agent to help set the pie so that it slices reasonably well and then I'll come back and show you the results. I let my plum crumble pie uh, cool completely and it's now been um, coming up for five hours. So I've just cut it um, and it cut very nicely and I've taken a piece out. So I'll show you what the, the pie looks like. And so it baked up very well indeed with a nice crumble on the top. and. Uh, so I've cut rather a large slice, but I'll have a taste of it. Mm. Very, very good. Nice and juicy. And um, really not too tart at all. Plums can be tart, but this is not too tart at all. It's just about the right amount of sweetness to it. A lovely crumble on the top and the, the uh, buttery pastry as well. So it does take a bit of time to make and you have to be patient. Uh, you can eat it uh, before it's cooled completely if you want to. If you want to eat it hot you can do that. It's just that it won't, you use a spoon to take it out, it won't slice quite so nicely. So that's going to be it for this recipe. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, please give me the thumbs up below and click to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In the top right hand corner of the screen, there will be an eye that you can click on and that will take you to a link for the recipe. And I'll put a link below the video as well. And I'll be back with another recipe in the very near future. So until then, happy baking.